welcome back to my channel and to the latest fashion video. So as I'm trying to make more content, I'm trying to think of different ideas and different themes that you guys might be interested in seeing, of course, fashion related. So right around this time, it is fashion week. I think New York Fashion Week is going on or it just passed. And I know there's also London and Paris Fashion Week. These are my New York Fashion Week outfit inspiration lookbook. Just some ideas, some outfits I would most likely and probably wear if I was attending New York Fashion Week. And as everyone kind of knows, New York Fashion Week or any type of fashion week is the opportunity to kind of go out, to go all out with accessorizing and um, just dressing like outrageous in the most fashionable way, right? So like it's totally normal to like not look super common and to stand out and wear these like amazing outfits that you obviously like wouldn't wear on a regular day or a day-to-day -day basis. So if you see outfits where you'd be like, uh, I have no idea where I would wear that to. New York Fashion Week, London or Paris, there you go. <laughs> this is specifically for that, for the outfits that are a bit top notch, are a bit extra and over the top and that's that's what I love about like these fashion shows and these fashion weeks is that you get to go all out, you know, and kind of like dive into your creativity, step up your fashion game and so these outfits are inspired just for that. The weather has definitely switched up on me. It was like beautiful in the 70s and now it's all the way down in the 30s and it snowed the other day. So these outfits are catered more to the colder weather because I know some of you obviously it isn't warm enough for you yet on your side of the region. So hopefully these outfits do play as inspiration for the cooler weather. You get to layer up and just take it as you want and kind of style it as desired. So I hope you guys like these outfits. Make sure to comment below which one is your favorite. Make sure to check the ends of my videos where we can connect through social. And don't forget to check out my podcast because if you do, I will make sure to give you a shout out at the beginning of my videos. So thank you guys so much. We are so close to 1K subs. I'm so excited. I'm so grateful. I can't wait to make a video for you guys as soon as we hit our goal. So make sure to subscribe and get the word out there. And let me know what you want to see next. Be happy to provide more updated and fresh and raw content. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoy and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye. I couldn't wait to find an excuse to pull out these ruffled collot pants and now I can once again in a different way this time paired with a leather jacket and black sock booties. I love the edge of badass mixed with girly going from leather to ruffles. I'm definitely not a person who buys things once and never wears it again. I will find a million ways to use it so it serves its purpose and I think this accomplished my staple look for New York Fashion Week inspo. Underneath, I added a fun crop top print to the look. This is from Forever 21, as well as my jacket. Major Aussie vibes with these sunnies, or you know, I could just be from the Matrix. Because it is cold in New York, I thought adding a lovely trench coat over a turtleneck and black culotte pants would really be beneficial in staying warm but having a dressed up chic street style look. I mean, you gotta show them you're a boss, but you got some sauce too. Ayy. Right we drippin' in finesse, y'all. We drippin' in finesse. Can we try? So I got 
super creative and because I love blanket scarves so much, I'm always trying to find innovative and different ways to wear them. So I wrapped this blanket scarf around and added a belt around my waist, paired it with everyone's favorite leather pants, and added some wedges. I think this is such an easy and go-to look while stepping in and out of fashion shows. You want to look fashion forward, but also be super comfy. And if you didn't know, leather pants are actually the comfiest pants you can possibly wear, but still look super sleek and chic in. Okay, 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 okay. So everyone knows I have an obsession with jumpsuits. So of course, by default, I had to add one into the mix. And this has cutouts on the sides. And over top, I added a standard jean jacket with all white erythin. An effortless and super stylish look with minimal effort. When you add higher heels or wedges underneath jumpsuits, it makes your legs look miles long, and I love it. Style tips from moi. And of course, if I'm going to wear any dress, it would have to be this. This vintage-inspired little number with crochet detailing and a peplum ruffle cut. It's adorable and super classy, which is always the name of my game. And of course, we gotta make sure the shoe game's strong, so I added these pointed toe studded heels to complete the final look. You always, 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 always have to stand out and not blend in with the crowd. Not by looking bizarre, but by carrying yourself in such a manner nobody has it in them to look away. Thank you guys so much for watching.